Guten Morgen, Bonjour, Buongiorno, Buenos Dias, Good Morning. Oh, that's good coffee. All right, we're gonna we're gonna take the clamps off. And uh, yeah, yeah. All right, I'm gonna get my grinder. Actually, not my grinder, but I'm gonna take my Dremel and knock these off, knock them down. And then, I'm gonna start shaping this handle. All right, let's move you around there. Yeah, I don't have a clue yet what, how I'm gonna make this handle look, what I'm gonna make it look like. Uh, I guess I'm just gonna start sanding away everything that doesn't appear to be a good handle, so. I guess I'm going to sort of work backwards, but uh, I got coffee to drink first. We'll be back. Yeah, I'll tell you, <laughs> I'm, I found something I'm not really good at. <laughs> I mean, there's a lot of things I'm not good at, but I thought of all things, this, this combines everything that I like doing that I feel like I'm pretty good at, and uh, it's just not cooperating. I mean, I got big hands, and it does feel good in my hand. But uh, I think what I'm going to do, that is the basic shape, you know? I, I just don't know what else to do. I think I'm going to smooth it up real nice. I've done this with my uh, angle grinder with a sanding pad, a flat disc on it. And I think what I'm going to do is sand it up real nice and then step back and have a look at it and, you know see what I think all right I got all this <coughs> sandpaper over here <coughs> I gotta get a mask all right I'll get to sanding some more I'll show you what I got when I get it cleaned up okay that's about all I can do with that handle It's a big meaty handle. It is a big meaty knife. Uh, you know, it's sort of like a chopper machete, short machete. <laughs> I have enjoyed building it, and I've built this with tools that were not designed to do fine work, you know, mostly rough work. Uh, so, I'm not making excuses. This is not, you know, a beautiful knife. I did put all my effort into it and uh, it's as good as I can make it with just basic hand tools. I am going to shine this up, clean it up, and I am going to put a, a nice edge on it. And then when I get it all shined up and sharp, then I'm going to put some uh, clear coat on the handle. So I guess I'll, I'll get to work on the blade and uh, First, I got to go blow the blow the sawdust boogers out of my nose. My God, I can hardly breathe. I said I was going to put a mask on, and you know, I never did get around to it. So <laughs> now I got to now I got to go take care of that. All right, we'll be back. Okay, that is officially the best I can do. I uh, polished it with the palm sander back there. I polished it down to 220 and then by hand I did 400 wet and then 600 wet and uh, it came out pretty shiny actually that uh, that I'm surprised of so the next step is clear coat I'll show you when it dries man what a mess but I am done with my prepper stock projects and uh, very soon I'm going to be cleaning up. And uh, I just, I don't mind my shop getting dirty, but when I'm done with a project, I got to clean up. All right, here, here we go. It's not so bad. You know, my first knife, uh, I, I'm not embarrassed. I was embarrassed, but... Uh, 
you know, I made this with nothing but basic hand tools. What do you think of that handle? Uh, I mean, I wasn't originally, I just didn't know how to shape it, but uh, I kind of like it now. So there you go, prepper stock. Whoever gets it, it ain't pretty, but uh, a whole lot of love went into it. I enjoyed building it, and uh, I hope whoever gets it enjoys having it. Thanks for watching, y'all. It was fun.